guys so in this video we will see how we can define the getters and setters in go so as we can define in the other languages like java so similarly we will do in golang uh, so in golang right it's not a fully object oriented language means but still we are following some oops like concepts so let's see miss how we can define it uh, so firstly i am declaring the employee object and uh, uh, I am considering the fields like name, employee name, employee name, type string, and its age. Age will be int. Okay. So now, how I can define the getters? So firstly, I will define the getters func. So here we need a receiver object and its name. Get something. Get name and it's return uh, something e dot uh, imp name okay so here uh, we need to define the uh, receivers object mm -hmm. on which we want to apply this method it's like apply so e dot get name it will return the uh, apply name so similarly for the age we can define the getter e apply uh, get is right so here we can return the age right so this uppercase means I uh, means this method is public means we can access uh, these uh, getters from the other packages also like here we have package main if we have to find some other package right uh, for example something else right from there uh, means we can access this uh, get get us because it's a public access I have given okay so here means I'm defining the object imply object uh, okay so name I will give uh, sago and age will be 25 okay so object I have defined so this uh, FMT package is for just print right means we can print any statement so here I will print the apply apply dot get name I will call and it will print me the this sago because I have given these two fields okay I'm running this program uh, okay so some errors I can see uh, type apply has no fields or met or get name okay so here we have defined the cap right so okay let's run it again still okay too many return types okay so we forgot to define the return type right because in uh, golang right we need to define the return type also so for this method we have a string return type and for this we have an int okay okay so you can see okay so this is function right so we need the parentheses you can see I can see the sagu similarly for age also miss I can do it will show 25 yeah okay so let's now define the setter func uh, on apply object set name okay so set name also I will make camel case set name I will pass name type string and I will set here e dot imp name okay and name I am setting it okay so okay so I will declare here the empty object and after that I will set the name okay apply dot set name here I will pass sago okay and similarly I will print using getter method okay so okay waiting for remote server uh, why it's taking time okay it's not printing something uh, 
name I have set okay name I have set mm, just thinking what is the issue set name okay let's see if I have a pointer yeah so you can see So as you can see, right, so here we need a pointer uh, because uh, we are setting uh, this employee name inside this object, right? If if I don't mention pointer here, so it will create a duplicate object, another object, right? So uh, in emp object, I will see a empty or null value. So that's why we need pointers here. If you want to change the internal state of any object, right? So then we need a pointers. Yeah, this is all for getters and setters. If you have any questions, uh, do comment. Uh, I will answer. Thank you.